To continue with the workshop for part two, what you need to do is to go back to your uh, repository that you created for works. If your OP244, it's going to be OP244 works. If your OP345, it's going to be OP345 works. Now, when I receive your invitation, so essentially it's going to be, which is which the due date is going to be uh, on uh, Friday, on Friday morning, by Friday morning, you should be done with this and it's, it should be done. So by Friday morning, you do part one. After you do all this, what you do, you right click on OP244 works. Right click on OP244 works and click on Tortoise Git and you click on pull. What it will do, so you can do this like Friday afternoon or Saturday morning or Monday the day after, it doesn't matter. So you click on OK. And it's going to pull the changes over there. So it's going to, you're going to see the message coming in over there, one file change, two insertions, by deletion, so on and so forth. You click over here, close. Then you will right click on the repository again, and you click on Tortoise Git, and you go to Show Log. In show log, you will see it says FARDA's changes, and over here is workshop0prg.cpb that I modified. Double click on that, and it's going to open the changes that I have made. So you can actually see at left what was you what was the code you have. At right side, the one that are the ones that are highlighted by yellow, these are the information that I actually added to this one. Now, what I want you to do, I want to make sure that you have done this, so you get a screenshot of this and you send it to me. How you do that, if you know how to do screenshots, then do it. If you don't know the how to do it, just click on the window, so this window is active. Then hold Alt and, pr and press Print Screen or System Request button. It's at the right top of your keyboard, so hold Alt and hit Print Screen. After doing that, this uh, window is going to get copied into clipboard then you can open a program called like paint open paint and just go file or oh, actually there's right here just paste and it's going to paste it back now you can save it so save that file right in to your repository again op244 and put it into op244 works and in here, you type, um, go to OP, uh, Workshop 0, and then in Workshop 0, you type Part 2, and you save it. And then you close it. So now the screenshot of this uh, uh, diff execution that you have seen uh, is right there. Now... I'm going to close all these. Now go to OP244 Works, Workshop 0. Now we want to add this file to this repository. So right click only on that file and go to Tortoise Git and click on Add. And click on Commit. And for your commit, you're going to type over here Workshop 0 Part 2. Click on Commit and then immediately push and click on OK. That is going to push that to the repository and I will check it out to see if that exists. I'm going to pull it from your repository, make sure it exists, and if it is, you will get your mark. And one thing I forgot to mention, and I'm going to add it over here so you can modify it because I forgot to mention the uh, previous one, make sure in your readme file over here, Make sure in the README file, oh, I opened it incorrectly, make sure in the README file you have your section 2. I forgot to mention that one. So in here you're going to say OP244NAA. For OP345 you don't need to do this because I'm only teaching one section, but for OP244 it is mandatory your README file to have that one. So to make sure you have that one in there too. And as soon as you save it, 
it's cha it's going to change if if it is changed you see the red thing over there then you can simply go right click and go git commit to commit that change to the repository and in here for example i'm saying added uh, section and i'm going to click commit and push again and done so that's going to be gone too so um probably you haven't added that one so uh, but um you do that then everything's going to be set and done uh so your workshop is complete and you're going to get the mark for it and uh, we're going to use this method from now on to the end of the semester which means anything you do for your uh, op244 should be in this directory so use your op244 works repository as a place you're going to have everything in but remember you cannot have a repository inside a repository you cannot clone anything in here if you want to bring something in here from workshops repository that we have so what you do you go uh, to uh, the op244 organization and go to the workshops uh, repository and we don't have anything in it yet but uh, when I so you can but you can still clone it so every time something new is added you simply go over here I'm gonna add the, but you do this only once so you clone it uh, in uh, the same directory but make sure it's not in op244 works it should be right beside it so now in here I'm gonna say toward uh, git clone and I'm going to clone it <clears throat> so when your new workshop is uh, published all you need to do is to right click on all workshops and go toward this git and go pull new workshop is going to come out then go in here copy the workshop in here not the git repository the workshop in here into op244 works and start working over there and developing what you're doing whatever you are doing and <clears throat> make sure you keep committing your work so first you have to add it and then you commit it every single commit that you got to do is going to be a point of return later on you can always see the log and see exactly what changes were made so if you are going for lunch commit your code and say going to lunch put that one in your commit uh, um, commit comments and that should be your habit this is how you are going to develop everything that you do while you are doing your works for OP244 or OP345. And that is the end of workshop zero. Thank you very much and have yourself a wonderful, wonderful day.